Yeah, what's good? What's going on? It's your boy, Acito, back with another one for y'all. We got to talk about game one, Miami Heat versus the Denver Nuggets. Oh, man. So, you know, I, I, I did my, you know, prediction on the actual series. Um, and I said, if you watch my prediction, whoever pretty much wins this game one probably will win the series. Um, I will say majority of the first half, Denver was very dominant in this game. Um, they were controlling the pace. Um, you know, Miami, they, they just couldn't knock any shots down, man. They could not knock any shots down, especially from the three-point line. I mean, as a team, they shot 13 from 39 from three-point range. 13 for 39, 33%. That's terrible. Terrible. And Denver didn't shoot any good as well. They actually shot worse. Percentage-wise, you know, 8 for 27, 29%. I mean, Miami almost took 43s. And I think for them taking that many attempts, you know, maybe the reason why the game was a little closer than what I thought. Because when I when I did, I did in and out of the game, but when I got to, like, I think by the second half, third quarter, like, my, Denver was up by a lot. You know what I'm saying? And then by the fourth quarter, Miami made a little run. But it was just too late. You know what I'm saying? They made a run in the fourth quarter, but it was too late. The damage has already been done. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, on the on the on the Nuggets side, you know what I'm saying? Uh Jokic put up 27 points. You know what I'm saying? He had a triple double. 10 points, 14 uh, uh 10 rebounds, 14 assists, 27 points. You know, phenomenal. He had a phenomenal game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh Jamal Murray, 26 points. Uh, six six rebounds, ten assists. Those fourteen and ten assists, that's huge, bro. That's huge. You know what I'm saying? You getting contributed from Michael Michael Porter Jr. Uh, you know what I mean? Arian, Arian Gordon. You know, fourteen and sixteen. You know, Mike, uh, Michael Michael Jr. Or Porter gave you thirteen rebounds as well. That's huge. You know what I'm saying? Just on the boards. Um, but you know they they got a lot of contributions. You know what I'm saying? And and Jokic and Murray definitely showed up. You know, for Denver Nuggets. Um, on the Heat side, you know, Jimmy Butler was struggling, bro. He was struggling. He only gave you 13 points, seven rebounds, seven assists. It's not going to cut it. Uh, believe it or not, yo, Bam kind of went. Bam was getting busy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bam had 13 boards, 26 points. You know, it would have been nice if he got a little bit of help there, but, you know, he did his thing. Uh, Vincent gave you 19 points, but only five assists and two rebounds. Uh, we need more, man. Kyle Lowry. 11 points, five assists, five rebounds. You know, we didn't get much production from, from everybody else on the team. And, and it showed, bro. It, it, it showed tremendously. You know what I'm saying? As far as now, from the field, they shot they shot pretty good. Uh, 39 for 96, um, 40%. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's decent. I would like to be 50, 60%. You know what I'm saying? Um, like for Denver, they shot 40 out of 79, uh, 50% from the field. Um, both teams did uh, extremely well from free throws. But the thing is, yo, Miami as a whole, as a whole team, they only shot two free throws the whole game. Two free throws. You only went to the line twice. What the hell? Nobody was going to the paint. Nobody was trying to, you know, get Jokic in foul trouble. Like, that's crazy to me, bro. And on the other side, Denver shot 16 and 20 free throws, 80%. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy to me, bro. That's crazy to me. Um, now, as far as the rebounds, I mean, both teams did a great job as far as rebounding the ball. You know, um, I thought maybe Miami could possibly figure out a way to kind of be a little bit more dominant on the, on the, on the defensive and offensive rebounding side. But they were kind of pretty much equal. As far as, especially on the defensive end of rebounds, um, both teams did really great with the assists as far as moving the ball, but Miami just couldn't knock down shots. I think Miami could have probably had like 40, 50 assists if they would have knocked the majority of their shots down. I mean, they took almost 100 shots as a team, you know what I mean, and only made damn near 40. So, you know, um, but defensive wise, you know, it was okay. Um, Denver had more turnovers for the game 10 turnovers versus Miami only had eight. Um, you know, points in the paint, Denver, 46, 46, uh, 
Miami 38. So you can see the 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 margin right there. They weren't aggressively in the tank. I mean, attacking the paint. They were more so settling for the jump shots and the three pointers. I hope they make adjustments, man, in game two because you 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 can't do that. I'm pretty sure Denver saw a couple chinks in the armor. So I'm pretty sure they're going to be a lot more aggressive on the, on the boards. They're going to be a lot more aggressive in the paint again. And then once you guys start spreading out, maybe doing the zone or maybe man to man, they're going to do the pick and roll, catch the, catch, the, catch the man on the baseline, wide open, settle for the three. You know what I'm saying? I, I can see it happening. Um, I, 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 I just, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think Miami, Jimmy Butler needs to be aggressive in this series, bro. He cannot go into game one shooting only thir making 13 points. Can't we, we can't get that type of contribution from him. You know, I understand, you know, they just had a game seven in Boston. You know, they've been on the road, probably very, very fatigued and tired. You know, Jimmy Butler's doing like 40-something plus minutes a game. You know what I'm saying? He's playing damn near the whole game. Um, but they're gonna need a, they're gonna need a lot more contribution, especially from the bench. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to need Kyle Lowry to step up. You know what I mean? Create some more plays. I like Bam. Hopefully Bam get a little bit, a little bit more... Um, I even... I ain't a little bit more aggressive, man. I, I like what he's doing. You know what I mean? For for game one, 26 points, 13 rebounds. I like that. You know what I mean? If you're giving me contributions like that, I'm not mad. I would like to see more from Martin, though. Martin, you only give me three points and four rebounds. Like, that's terrible. That's terrible. You know what I'm saying? That's terrible. You know? But, um... Yeah, man, I, I I don't I don't I don't see Miami, I don't see Miami getting out of this. I see Denver closing this in four games. Um, I, I I might give Miami one game at home, but other than that, man, I see I see Denver closing this series out in four games, bro. Like what I saw last night, yeah. Especially if Miami's not knocking them shots is not knocking down. Like if they not making those threes, they're not making those mid range jumpers. If they not attacking the paint. And putting Jokic in foul trouble, they're not winning the series, bro. They're just not winning the series, man. But man, let me know in the comment section what y'all think of game one, man. And what do you guys how are you guys calling, you know what I mean, this this series, man. Y'all got Denver in four, y'all got Denver in seven, y'all got Denver in five. Talk to me. You know what I mean? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know if I'm tripping or not. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at Aces Working on Instagram and Twitter. I got some special things coming to the channel. So stay tuned, man. I appreciate all the love. Peace.